MGT 220. Leader's Window by John. What is the leader's window? In leader's window, we can put into graph that made with direction and support. Direction which means tasks to do by telling what, when, why, how to employees. Support which means listening, coaching, and motivating people. This graph can be divided into four groups. With direction, it goes low close to left, and goes high close to right. With support, it goes low close to down, and goes high close to up. It starts with S1, and keep on S2, and S3, then finish with S4. S1 is high in direction, but low in support. S2 is high in direction, and high in support. S3 is low in direction, but high in support. And S4 is low in direction, and also low in support. For more details, S1 is directing or telling employees what to do, when to do it and how to do it. S2 involves getting together with the employees and listening to their ideas, before coming to a decision. S3 is developing. The leaders acts as a support, as the employee solves any problems, that need to be dealt with. S4 is delegating. The leader assumes that the employee knows what to do, and assumes that the task is being done without the need of direction. Um, let's put an example case. You are a college student, and have a group project to do with these guys. His name is Derek. He is a Dean's List student. He is very clever that he was able to pass the entire subjects with grade of flat 1. Moreover, he even knows how to do the project well, and he is willing to do the project very nicely. Seems a bit nerd, but good kid. His name is John. He is the captain of varsity. He is very good in playing basketball but his grades are not very good. He doesn't like to study, and he doesn't want to participate in the group project. Sounds like you will have difficult time. Her name is Jane. She studies very hard but she wasn't able to be in Jean's list. She is willing to do the project very well but she doesn't know where to start and how to do it. Her name is Kate. She is a very smart student. She wants to be a programmer after graduate. You need her to make a great project but she doesn't want to do the project because she knows that her grade is high enough to pass the subject already. You better need to do something to get her back in work. Let's get back to the window graph. Okay. Let's start with S1. S1 is directing or telling employees what to do, when to do it and how to do it. You need to use S1 for Jane. She is willing to do the project but she doesn't know how to do it. She needs someone to teach her. So she needs high directing but she already wants to do the project. Therefore, she needs low supporting. S2 involves getting together with the employees and listening to their ideas, before coming to a decision. For John, you need to use S2. He is a great basketball player but he doesn't like to study and his grades are low. You need to teach him and listen to his problem. So he needs high directing and high supporting. S3 is developing. The leaders acts as a support, as the employee solves any problems, 
that need to be dealt with. You need to use S3 for Kate. This style is exactly opposite from S1. She is very smart and she knows how to do the project but she doesn't want to do the project. So she doesn't need any teaching. But you need to make her to do the project. So she needs high supporting but low directing. S4 is delegating. The leader assumes what to do, and assumes that the task is being done without the need of direction. For Derek, the perfect guy, you need to use S4. He is a very good student. He knows how to do the project and he is willing to do the project very nicely. So he doesn't need any directing and supporting. Hope you learned something from our video. Okay. Let us explain easier. Let's assume that you are this guy, and sadly you have to save the earth with these guys, who are out of control. Iron Man. He is well known superhero. He has the ability to save the world but he is too famous, that he is too much into image making. You need to support him but directing is not necessary. So you need to use S3 for him. Hulk. He wants to save the world and he is very strong. But once he transforms into Hulk, he cannot control himself. So you need to use S2 for him. Thor. He is from other world but he loves Earth. He is willing to save the world but without his hammer, he is not strong enough. You need to direct him not to lose his hammer. So you need to use S1 for him. Captain America. He loves people and world. He wants to save the world and he is strong enough. He doesn't need any directing and supporting. So you need to use S4 for him.